Hey guys, Andre here from PSD Box. Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own 3D LUTs in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you how to save them and how to create them properly. A lot of people um, ask me how do I create my 3D LUTs. Uh, I'm going to show you the one that I have. And every time I make a tutorial, um, people ask me how do I create them. You can see this list here, everything that says PSD Box, PSD. Um, everything that you see here is made by myself and people kept asking me how do I create that how do you make them I have a free pack that you can download with uh, some of the presets there on that list and you can download them I'm gonna give you the link uh, I'm gonna put the screen there uh, with um, a link and also in the video uh, description so you can download that pack but today I'm gonna show you how to create that it's really easy it's really simple and I hope you will enjoy it so let's get started So the first thing that I'm going to do is deactivate uh, that uh, group that you can see right here. You can see this is the effect that I got. Uh, the effect is not really important. What it's important is to, for you to learn how it works. So uh, the first thing you want to do is open your image that you want to use um, as a test um, as a test so shot. So I'm going to use this one over here and I'm going to start adding adjustments. It's important to Low, to learn or to know a bit about how this works um, you have you can only use adjustment layers for this uh, in order to save your um, your preset so you cannot use adjustments using the um, the image menu I have this in, in Spanish the interface but anyways so I'm gonna start by adding um, let's say for example a color lookup you can use any of the adjustments that you see over here so um, let's say I want to create a more mm, vintage looking effect that I want to use over and over for my pictures and I don't want to do the same work every time I, uh, I use Photoshop so um, I'm gonna start with this one I'm gonna use edgy amber for example I know this is gonna give me a really yellowish tone I'm gonna set the opacity let's say to 30% and let's create another one um, maybe another color lookup and I'm gonna give a drop blues effect I, or actually a foggy night looks really nice but I only want this to be visible over the shadow so I'm gonna double click and open the layer styles you can also use adjust um, blend, mode for, uh, blend modes for this so if you add a blend mode this will affect the uh, final effect um, on your image so I want this only on the darks so I'm gonna go to underlaying layer and I'm gonna remove the whites pressing the alt key can split this you can see it's split here so I can create a better transition with that over there I'm gonna drop the opacity to let's say 15% or maybe 20 and let's add now a curves adjustment. I'm just gonna add a few ones so you can see um, how it works, but uh, or the kind of adjustments you can add to your to your effect. So let's go on to the blues and let's get the soft split tone effect like that. And what else? We could go probably into the reds and on the shadows add some cyan and on the highlights a bit of red not too much something like that maybe let's add an exposure and if you want to create that washed effect that uh, faded effect you can you can use this uh, camera correction I'm gonna leave it there and we're not, let's not touch the exposure um, keep in mind that when you do this all the effects that you apply here will be applied to the to the other image when you when you apply this um, color look that, that we're gonna create so uh, it might not look the same as on this image but the effects that you will apply the same amounts will be applied to that image let's add now a gradient map and next we're gonna save that so let's use which one this one is gonna add more blue on my highlights which is not what I want because I already said that I want to have yellow tones on that maybe let's find another one I could create one 
myself, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to make the tutorial too long. Let's use this one and use a plan mode hard light, for example, and drop the opacity. So uh, I think, mm, let's say this, uh, that I like this effect, let's say 25, a bit darker. So let's say I like this effect and I want to apply it over and over again to other images that I have and I don't want to create these layers every time I use this. Of course you could create, uh, you could create an action for this, but uh, actions take a bit more time to apply and uh, they, not, they don't work on all versions depending if you change the interface language on your Photoshop or you can have more problems using an action and this is I think it's a lot easier so um, let me show the original we went from this to this so if I want to save this look I can save that using the export function so I can go to file export and choose um, color lookup tables here uh, I'm sorry I have this in English I forgot to change it but anyways so just click here and this will ask you to give a description uh, this is actually the name that you will see on the file so let's name uh, this um, soldier look whatever uh, it doesn't really matter I have this uh, on but you can leave it whatever you can uncheck or check this the quality I have it to 64 I have it on high and formats uh, it's important to know that 3D uh, lookup tables can be uh, lookup tables can be used in other software. For example, uh, Final Cut Pro uses that, so you can import this into video as well. So if you're recording a video and you have a software that allows you to use uh, lookup tables, uh, you can you can use this same preset that you save here. So uh, it depends on the software that you're working with. 3DL and Cube are the most commonly used ones, but uh, you can uh, save all formats. Uh, this will create four formats if you activate them. I'm just gonna check 3DL and Cube and click Save. Accept. This will open the um, save file and well actually the name you can put it here. The description is not what you'll see on the file name. So let's type again soldier name uh, soldier look sorry okay and let's click Save. Now the preset has been saved um, if you have a work, uh, an artwork that you already uh, created and you have the PSD file and you like, you really want to have the same look on another image, uh, you can open that PSD file, but you have to make sure that none of the layers is checked except the adjustment layers and the background layer itself. So if you have layers with transparencies and you have painted something or whatever, um, it's not gonna work. Um, also, make sure you don't uh, fill anything on the layer masks. This could give you problems. So just the adjustment layers and the background layer. Now let me group this and show you how um, this looks like. Control G. And if I want to add that that lookup table that I created here, what I have to do is go here, create lookup table, uh, create a lookup table adjustment layers. Uh, layer and here on the first drop down click here you can see 3dl this one I think is a cube um, but anyways just click here and load 3d lot and just go to your folder I'm gonna open my folder and you can see soldier look dot cube and soldier look dot 3dl I'm gonna open 3dl and here you have it identical with just one adjustment I got the same effect uh, as I got here with the whole group here now if you want to see this adjustment on this list here and you don't, and you don't want to have to select it every time and load it what you can do is instead of saving this to your desk uh, to your desktop or um, some other folder what you can do is save that file into the Photoshop's presets folder and you can find that on a Mac go to applications go to Photoshop CC and just look for presets and here you can find a folder named 3d LUTs just drop your files here and next time you open Photoshop you will see it on this list over here like I have right here you can see all this list here um, if you're on Windows um, just locate uh, I think it's in program files Adobe Photoshop CC or whatever 
and just look for that. The structure of the folders is the same, so just look for the presets folder inside uh, inside of Photoshop, and you'll just drop the files there, and you'll be ready to use them. So um, that's all. I hope uh, you like this tutorial, and I hope you find it useful. Um, please subscribe if you like my videos, and check out my uh, YouTube channel. You'll find uh, videos for beginners and also advanced manipulations. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and tag your photos with the hashtag PSDBox if you wanna if you want me to see your images. So that's all for today and we'll see you on the next tutorial.